you have to be encouraged you know what you have done is it's a big job therefore on behalf of the board on behalf of the community i want to, to say thank you thank you thank you thank you everybody tell you thank you so much we are very appreciative of the board's support um thank you guys you. gave us funding to pay the instructors so we really appreciate your support i know um this is just a little bit of taste of what we could do because it was virtual last year was only 30 students we had 41 this go round and they varied in i mean age grade everything so we had an elementary middle high school we even had a college student um, who participated uh, overall i was just trying to calculate like how many hours did we all spend so if with 41 students with two hour coding class an hour to green class an hour art class it was over 600 hours that collectively we all contributed to this program so that's major i really thank you guys because you committed the time to do the program to teach um, these young people we i got the same thing and it said your students have 150,000 questions so All right, Judge Kaleb is here, and uh, he is uh, replacing Mumhir Kaleb. He'll be back in just a bit. So we are going to get it started with... When I told you to get a judge wig, I didn't think you were going to get that. Hey, you know, you got to get what you can get. It's, it's coronavirus season, so options are limited. Uh, I'm nothing. Huh? I couldn't hear you. Can they quickly? That was a hard one. She asked you, yeah. what, what grade are you in? I don't think you guys over, went over that yet. Um, Say that in Tigrinya. What number I'm, is that? I'm this day. All right. Oh, Govez. No, I'm not going to Very good. That is a very we have five. yes. Very good. Yeah, Tanadida. So you could, there's two different ways you could say on that. You could say Horia, like Muhurai, or you can say Minidad, like Tanadida. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Does anybody know how to say I'm hungry? Domini. Right now. Perfect. Was that Natanya? Yeah. Emuni. Does anybody know how to say I'm scared? Sariha. Sariha. Perfect. Mifrah. <laughs> that's that's the 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 verb. Mifrah. Yeah. Mhm. Um. Does anybody know how to say worried? I'm worried. <laughs> does anybody know how to say I'm worried? Mechinak <laughs> is like the state of being worried. Dasta. Dasta, how do I say 50? Hamsa. Good job. All right. Joseph, how do I say 25? Uh, Isra, how much did? Good job. Uh, 
All right. Uh, Joseph. How do I say 47? Yeah, there's some confidence, you know, as far as like reading words and, you know, colors and, you know, body parts and stuff like that. In a row. So that's why this covers this. Repeat five times, move forward. This allows our character to reach here. So now our character is facing this way. We need him to start facing this way. Now that we know that we have to return right up here, we automatically know we're turning right, right here. So now uh, we have this turn right icon here to have our character face this direction. We know that we're only repeating the move forward uh, command three times. One, two, three. So that's what this command right here is for. It's to get our character to move to this spot here. We know that he has to go, he's facing this way. We know that he has to start facing this way. We know that we've been turning right these last two turns, so we're gonna turn right one more time. That's what this covers. Then we moved three times forward to reach the prize, which is right here. So this last for loop, the repeat three times move forward, covers this one right here. Do I need to explain? There's, there's our answer, right? Remember guys, this first number is gonna correspond to the R, red. The second number is the G, green. And the last number is the B blue, right? So if our first run is R is 255, our second one is color. What do we have color set equal to? Sion. What, what did we make color equal to? What was the question? Your variable color, what did we set it equal to? Zero. To zero, right? And then our last one is zero. So if we have 255, zero, and zero, I was gonna make red. Okay. So let me go ahead and run that just so you guys can see what it's gonna look like. All right, remember that first one is red. That first number is gonna be red. So if we have 255 there and zero on the rest of the ones, what are we gonna get? Red, because our, our green and blue are zero. Our green and blue- And once he moves forward, we want to turn right and then go another 100 pixels. Does everybody get that? Yes. That's what I have, but it says incorrect. You got the same thing? Okay. Yeah, I got jump forward and then uh -oh. turn right. So that jump forward, I'm gonna show you why that's incorrect in one moment, because when you jump forward, he doesn't draw anything. So that's why it's gonna be incorrect. So let me show you the difference. So we're gonna run it the correct way and I'm gonna show you what happens when you. All right, so you saw how he, you saw how he drew while he was moving forward. Mm -hmm. Now watch what happens when I do. Yo, okay, we get it, we get it. Forget it, buddy. All right, watch what happens though when I replace move forward with jump forward. Oops. Um, so it was it had its overwhelming moments, but it was more like cute to me. Than Within four weeks, you know, it's kind of hard to you know cram everything in that you want to. But um, I think it was a good. Um, starting point to start with the blocks, especially since we had so many people that um, weren't familiar with it, or even for like the beginner students that, you know, don't pick up things as quickly. Mm -hmm. um, that the students were really interested in doing more direct coding, because as you, as everyone that's seen code.org, it's more about that block and like puzzle structure. I think making sure that they know that it can be applied to so many different fields can kind of like gear their interest towards it. The two star students in the class, they really, you know, they want to be software developers. Okay. So they took an interest in it. So there's that feedback. In terms of the platform, the platform was really good at giving them the big picture logic blocks, which is important for uh, understanding the reason why things are done. Um, so, okay, so basically what mine is, um, so mine is even more graceful than the original. Um, the baby is wearing the steak backpack here. 
and then the dog is chasing the baby here, okay? And then the mom is chasing the dog, chasing her baby, wearing the snake backpack here. And here is a cloudless sky. Now, why should make it rain? Okay, okay, that looks nice. That looks nice. How about uh, summer? Anyway, this is my oh, you're not done. It's so graceful, so beautiful. I love it. What? <laughs> like, um, it's <laughs> literally like the food chain. The community, oh like these two people, and then like the future is up here like a rainbow sky and a, um, a red, red sun. sun. A red sun is showing the future. Burning hot sun. Okay. Thank you for teaching Hi, me art. Yeah, no Thank problem. you for teaching me art Losing and I really class. appreciate it. Thank you for teaching us art. I really appreciated it. Thank you for teaching us art. You guys are actually like I was impressed when when I was in first grade, uh, we got an assignment to like draw our shoe. We had to take our shoe off and draw it, and I took it home and I told my dad to draw it, and I turned that in. <laughs> so I thought you guys did, were were gonna like probably do the same stuff I would do and stuff. But like you guys are, I'm I'm very impressed. I'll say that like you guys put a lot of thought into your work, and you guys um, are very like creative and expressive about like your thoughts and ideas and stuff. So. You guys are really cool. So incorporate color pencils to look like this. So, does that sound good to y'all? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Good. Cool. Okay, so this is Elias Simi. He was born in Addis uh, in 1968. This picture right here on the right, that's him. Uh, so he is a multidisciplinary artist, uh, and he works primarily with relief sculpture and architecture. Right. So what you're looking at is is what is um, his relief sculptures and his architecture. Uh, he's been doing it for more than 25 years. Uh, he's had different collages and sculptural assemblies. Um, he's used different things like threads, buttons, plastic animal skins, horns, uh, fabric, bottle tops, uh, a bunch of different organic things. So like, you know, nature, just anything that's nature. And most of these, he would get it from Mercato. So I don't know if all of you guys have been to Ethiopia, but it's just a big uh, shopping area. Uh, it's like very big. It's one of it's the main shopping area in, in, uh, in Addis. And they literally have everything there that you could find. So he would go there, he would look around the stores and he would find pieces. So like what they listed at the top, like the threads and buttons, the uh, plastic, the wires, motherboards, anything that he could use that he could find at that store and make into his sculptures. So uh, he, be he became interested in the striped motherboard uh, from his, like, mo his mobile phone he had. And uh, he, he, he's been using that lately in his recent works to create the different sculptures like what you saw with the green block. Like most of that is just the motherboard. And that's like the, the stuff that's inside of a computer. It's like a big green, looks like a big plastic uh, rectangle uh, sheet. You know, and it has like a bunch of wires and metal connected to it. So most of his work uh, he has in different um, museums uh, throughout the world. Uh, there's one, uh, he has a award-winning sculpture in the Zoma Museum in Ethiopia. And it's in Addis Ababa for uh, Environmentally Cautious International Art Center. Uh, they had it in the New York Times in 2009. Uh, so this guy is very well, very um, well known. Uh, he's had a lot of uh, art pieces and sh and shows and museums. He's had a lot of. Uh, oh. Good. <laughs> All right. So the first activity that I wanted to do was on that Photoshop site that I had shared with you all before, which was Photopia. Um, again, this is just a version of Photoshop or a recreated version of Photoshop that is free for everybody and it's web-based. So anyone that has internet access can use it. Um, it's easier to do with a mouse if you've got one, but if not, you can still use your fingers. Um, 
the first exercise that I had in mind was last week somebody mentioned, um, you know, photoshopping like a person into another group. Here I have the pictures of the Atlanta TPN group, which is putting on this program, as well as the Denver group. Um, and you guys can choose whatever pictures you want. If you want to use these, I can send them to you. I just thought it'd be easiest to do this. Basically, I'm going to take one of the members from the Denver group, and then I'm going to add them to this group photo and pretend as if they were in it. Um, because of the difference in backgrounds and stuff like that, it might be, you know, a little bit difficult um, to make them fit in properly, um, especially because all these people in the Denver crowd are like overlapping each other. So anytime you're photoshopping people, you kind of want everybody to be spread out in a way that it's easy to fit another person in. That's So personally, um, I found the first lesson, which was the Photoshop one, to be the most helpful to the students in terms of learning things. Um, not only the graphic design part, but everybody was like super engaged and talkative and <laughs> asking questions, um, which is great. I loved the summer program. I had no complaints. Um, it was great. All my classes were great. I learned a lot from um, tutoring a class and coding class. And I really loved um, art class, you know. I, I learned a lot of stuff in our class too, like how to like draw, I guess, better. I think it was uh, perfect. I think it was nice. It was, it was a really good program and I learned a lot from it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, do, to doing it next year. So I loved the Jigunya class. It was my favorite class by far. And I also loved the Sarah, um, Sarah's art class. It was very fun and very creative. And I, and I also liked the coding class. Hi, Mebra. Um, I, I liked everything in the summer program, but like coding, um, with, I, I, I wish we learned more in coding. Um, and thank you for the summer program.